All right, there's your train. That's your train for today. We're over here getting loaded. We just got loaded. So uh, anyway, all right, there you go. Talk to you in a bit. All right, good morning. Uh, real quick, uh, we're over here at the Loves near uh, St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, this is our load that uh, we got over the weekend. It's uh, air conditioning ducts. Uh, required a big tarp job. Now, the one thing about this place though is they, they rolled the tarps out. Super helpful. So, uh, it is busy this morning. The fuel aisle, you can see all the trucks waiting to get fuel. Bobtails are parked over there. But, uh, we are about uh, 10 or 15 minutes away from where we got to go unload. We're going to drop this off and then uh, go pick up our reload going back over to Huntington, West Virginia. So uh, talk to you guys in a bit. All right, we're, uh, we just got loaded. We have uh, Super Sacks on here and I can't remember the name of this place where we just got fuel. So I'm going to, let's see here, where are we at? Um, Warrington, that's it. Warrington. We're in Warrington, Missouri at the Flying J Truck Stop. Uh, we had a pretty good weekend. We got unloaded this morning. Went pretty good. Took about two hours uh, to get unloaded. And uh, it did take quite a while to get reloaded, though. They were a little busy. And uh, this stuff is going over to... Uh, Right over by Huntington, West Virginia, but on the Ohio side. Hang on one second. Let me get around. We're pretty heavy. We're about 40, we've got about 45, 45,000 on the trailer. Let's uh, let's get on over to, uh, I got to stop in uh, Mount Vernon real quick. And then uh, we'll uh, go outside, take a look at what we got. But we're going to make our way through St. Louis. It is now... 1:30 here, so it's now 1:30 here, and we're gonna try to get through St. Louis before it gets too bad. Weather's been all right; it's just cold outside. Just cold, so we filled up with we've got cheap, cheap Missouri fuel, and this Flying J is always a mess. But that's the price you pay for getting cheap fuel is this place is, is a madhouse as you can see as you can see so all right let's try this again let's see if we can get out of here without getting run over run into all that other good stuff all right we made it over here to mount vernon illinois we're at the uh, tar I'm gonna say we're at the TA. We're across the street from the TA. We're at the Flying J truck stop and uh, the Walmart's right over there. Um, we're gonna make our way over to uh, Louisville tonight. I gotta to run over to Walmart real quick. But this is what we got. Um, we got about 44,000 pounds, 44, 45,000 pounds of, um, I think it's refractory products. I think that's what it is, but like super sacks um pretty easy had a tarp now we used one section of our four foot tarps and then it didn't quite come all the way down so we got the little um smoke tarp out so this this one right here you can see the little smoke tarps inside there um went pretty went pretty good tarping i was gonna say it went pretty quick but uh they did take quite a while to load now here's a uh Conestoga truck next to us. Conestoga there. I get a lot of people say, why don't I buy a Conestoga? First off, they're expensive, very expensive. And second, um, a lot of, no, I shouldn't say a lot, but some places won't load a Conestoga and you are kind of limited to the freight. Same kind of way when I had my side kit up, uh, you're kind of limited to what you can haul. Uh, so, but, uh, so that's Conestoga. Here's our trailer here. We'll take a quick look. I don't know 
Let me put that right there. I don't know if this is accurate because I don't have the truck on, but you can see what our weight is. So we're sitting at about 30, what's that say? 34, a little over 34,000 on the uh, trailer axles. Um, and the way that works is you're allowed 20,000, because this is a spread axle, you're allowed 20,000 on this axle and you're allowed 20,000 on this axle which gives you a total of 40,000 pounds back here for because of the spread now if you look over the standard trailer with their wheels they're only allowed 34,000 but that's because their axles are close together so they're only allowed that so that is one of the reasons uh, step decks are or step decks uh, flatbeds are designed with a spread axle like that is uh, because it's a little harder to adjust the weight when you just set it on the trailer and sometimes you haul stuff that's not equally the straight weight distributed i guess that makes sense so anyway it just makes it a little bit easier with the spread axle so can't haul i can't haul more weight i still can only haul eighty thousand pounds but how it's distributed on the trailer is a little different so all right let's uh let's head back up here to the truck everything else is going good we uh this is an old um this is an old uh what was it oh man hang on one second i just looked at it uh long haul that's what it was yeah this old long haul truck all right that's it that's enough i'm just rambling all right um let me run to walmart real quick i'll see you guys when we get to uh louisville talk to you in a bit all right oh i left you guys yesterday i was over in mount vernon illinois and i said i was going to drive over to uh louisville but i didn't i ran out of energy so i ended up staying the night in mount vernon last night and woke up early this morning woke up this morning with 385 miles to go to deliver this load today um we woke up early uh, we made it over there we got by about 12 30 or so so we didn't do too bad uh, we did get unloaded and i had just planned on kind of doing nothing but uh, katie called me at the last minute there and said hey they just popped the load in uh so i went and reloaded we're in cattles cattlesburg kentucky at the flying j hang on one second i'll show you hang on one second so you can see so we're at Cattlesburg, Kentucky at the Flying J. And there's a truck driving by right now. But uh, we loaded we loaded this afternoon. We got steel uh, steel bars. I've never loaded over there before. It's the first time. I think it's a new customer. So uh, anyway, loaded those up going up to Iowa. So that's what we're doing tomorrow. So anyway, I just ran out of steam yesterday. And... Uh, last night I, I went and got dinner and stuff so anyway i'm tired i'm beat wore out a little bit been running pretty good the last couple of weeks we did really good last week and so far this week's turning out pretty good the weather's been kind of nasty the last couple of days been in the mud and everything but anyway all right so it is tuesday we're loaded heading over to iowa and we're going to deliver that on thursday it's about 550 miles from right here over to iowa so uh, we're going to deliver that on thursday tomorrow's just going to be a driving day so anyway that's the end of the day callie's doing good i just fed callie you guys can see her back there she's resting so i just fed callie she's resting i'm going to get some dinner and uh, call it quits so anyway. all right a little update we're in walcott iowa it's cold my truck says it's 27 outside, but I think it's a little colder than that. Uh, we've been busy this week. We've done really good uh, so far. We got, uh, let's do a quick rundown of what we've done this week. Monday we delivered our air conditioner uh, thingamajiggies. And um, it was, I thought it was going to be air conditioner. It was actually air conditioner ductwork. And it had a eight foot tarp. So we delivered that Monday. In St. Louis, we reloaded about uh, 
40 miles away, picked up, I don't, it, I don't know, it's like sand or refractoring stuff, uh, picked that up, took that over by Huntington, West Virginia, delivered that on Tuesday, reloaded Tuesday, what we have on right now, it's like big steel bars, um, and bringing that over to Wilton, Iowa, we're going to deliver that this morning, and then we're going to reload this morning, uh, two miles from where we're unloading, literally across the street. We're going to go uh, reload and take that down to uh, near Columbia, Missouri. Uh, so that'll be today's load for Friday. Tomorrow will be Friday. And then uh, we're going to try to get something on uh, Friday. Truck's running okay. Cali's doing good. It's cold. But um, all in all, it's been a pretty good week so far. All right. I know I've um, it's a little quiet out here. It's going to be a while before we get unloaded. So I want to show you real quick what we got. So we picked up steel bars and uh, I had to build a, a bulkhead so you can see the bulkhead there and the steel bars uh, they don't want the tarp off until we get inside so uh, that's why I have to leave the tarp on but back here I had the um, I had my smoke tarp over the back part here and I've already took that off because this isn't gonna hurt anything but give you an idea of what we got so these are just big steel steel bars that we picked up um nothing nothing too difficult uh here hang on a second let me show you one thing hang on so one thing i had to do was right here you see this you see that one bar right here and see the hole right there so i had to take a block of wood and stick a block of wood if you can see that and brace it so that that steel wouldn't slide in there when I uh, when I strapped it down. But uh, we're just waiting to get unloaded. We got about another I don't know. We got uh, a couple trucks in front of us. We got one there in the Conestoga, and they already got one inside. So we're just gonna wait. We've done about all we can. He said uh, once I get up to the door that we can go ahead and uh, take the tarp off. But just by chance, it should uh, snow. Uh, he wanted to leave the tarp on. So so anyway, that's what's going on this morning. And hopefully we can get this off pretty soon because uh, our next reload's only a couple miles away, but they're not going very fast here. So we'll find out. All right, talk to you in a bit. prevention you saw those those uh, yellow uh, poles or whatever I had to pull through that's their fall present prevention now yeah it's probably a good idea but my theory or opinion on that is if I fall especially if I'm just now if I'm on the top of an eight-foot load and I'm 13 feet off the ground that's a different story but if I'm four feet off the trailer and I get ready to fall I want to fall and hit the ground 
I don't want to fall and hit those yellow poles and everything else as I'm bouncing down towards the ground. You get a leg caught, arm caught, something like that, break it. I would rather hit the ground, do a little bit of a combat roll, and hopefully stand up and keep on going. But uh, that's kind of my opinion on those uh, that fall, that their fall prevention. Now, some places I go to, they have the uh, it, it's, it's a mechanical kind of like dock that's it'll go up against the trailer, and there's no gap, so you can't fall down. But it's the gap that I worry about falling down through the gap, and you like getting caught or something like that. That's what I worry about. So, all right, let's get past this shiny red truck. Uh, go turn my paperwork in. We gotta go to security, turn my paperwork in. And then we got about 280 miles down to uh, Missouri where this load is going. So that's the plan for today. All right, talk to you in a bit. All right, uh, we ended the day a little bit early. I had a headlight out. This truck's made for idiots. It'll tell you if you have a headlight out. So it told me I had a headlight out. Sure enough, I did. So we're over here at the Flying J Truckum Stop. And I'm trying to remember the name of this place. Hey, hey, no, Wayland. Wayland, Missouri. We got, um, we got, oops. We got uh, about 100 miles to go to deliver this tomorrow morning. Um, we don't have a reload yet. Not too worried about it. Uh, a lot of that stuff in that area, uh, sometimes we'll book in the morning. Uh, we'll press the panic button tomorrow around 10, 11 o'clock if for some reason we can't find anything. And when I mean press the panic button, I mean just take whatever. So we'll see how that goes. But anyway, I had to replace the headlight and I'm out here at the Flying J. And of course, you know, Flying J headlights are not cheap. But uh, this is one of the old ones. It came in this fancy little case. I thought I had some spare ones in here because I had a wiring issue a while back and I had to rewire the headlight plug. And uh, I thought I had some spare ones in here, but apparently I didn't. So I had to, uh, these were uh, $30, $32. Uh, $32 for a set of headlights. So, uh, so anyway, my headlight bulbs. So anyway, we need headlights. So sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, other than that, let's see, it's Tuesday. It's been a good week. I think I talked about that last night or this morning or something. But uh, it's, been, it's been a good week. It's been a busy week. Um, but, uh, and, and there's a storm coming, but that storm is gonna be kind of south of us. So I think we're gonna miss that. Now it's time to go get a, a much needed shower here at the Flying J. And I'm watching a bunch of people walk in with their shower bags right now. So it's gonna be a while. But anyway, all right, talk to you later. Thanks for watching, bye.